Syria is an opportunity for us because Syria plays an important role in the Middle East, particularly right now. Syria is Iran's only ally in the Arab world. It's their route to the sea. It's the route for them to arm Hezbollah in Lebanon, which threatens, of course, our ally. It And so seeing Syria remove Assad is a very high priority for us. We need to make sure as well that we coordinate this effort with our allies, and particularly with... But the Saudis and the Qatari and, and, and the Turks are all very concerned about this. They're willing to work with us. We need to have a very effective leadership effort in Syria, making sure that the, the, the insurgents there are armed. And so everything we're doing, we're doing in consultation with our partners in the region, including Israel, which obviously has a huge interest in seeing what happens in Syria, coordinating with Turkey. and other countries in the region that have a great interest in this. About 10 days after 9-11, I went through the Pentagon and I saw Secretary Rumsfeld and, and Deputy Secretary Wolfowitz. I went downstairs just to say hello to some of the people on the joint staff who used, used to work for me. And one of the generals called me and he said, sir, you got to come in. You got to come in and talk to me a second. I said, well, you're too busy. He said, no, no. He says, We've made the decision we're going to war with Iraq. This was on or about the 20th of September. I said, we're going to war with Iraq? Why? He said, I don't know. <laughs> he said, I guess they don't know what else to do. So uh, I said, well, did they find some information collect connecting Saddam to al-Qaeda? He said, no, no. He says, there's nothing new that way. They just made the decision to go to war with Iraq. He said, I guess it's like we don't know what to do about terrorists, but we've got a good military and we can take down governments. And uh, he said, I guess if, if the only tool you have is a hammer, every problem has to look like a nail. So I came back to see him a few weeks later, and by that time we were bombing in Afghanistan. I said, are we still going to war with Iraq? And he said, oh, it's worse than that. He said, he reached over on his desk, he picked up a piece of paper, he said, I just... He said, I just got this down from upstairs, meaning the Secretary of Defense office today, and he said, this is a memo that describes how we're going to take out seven countries in five years, starting with Iraq and then Syria, Lebanon, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, and finishing off Iran. Türkiye'nin Orta Doğu'da bir görevi var. Nedir o görev? Biz geniş Orta Doğu ve Kuzey Afrika projesinin eş başkanlarından bir tanesiyiz. Ve bu görevi yapıyoruz. Allah will say, I am the Almighty Allah. I am the Almighty Allah. For whom is the divine rule today? For whom is the power today? For whom is the kingdom today? I am the king of all kings. Where are your dictators? Where are your oppressors? No one will answer. Allah himself will answer. And Allah will say, power is for Allah. Might is for Allah. The one, the only, the irresistible. These are dark times, there is no denying.